There, those cats can be a little finicky sometimes. Here's Andy. We got rain chances. We do it as the sun hits its peak tomorrow afternoon. The big threat of severe weather is going to be well to the east of us, back through Arkansas into the neighboring adjacent areas of Louisiana, down towards Shreveport, Mosier City, north of Alexandria. We're going to be at the southern end of any of this action tomorrow morning. There will be some strong storms pushing through. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't think they're going to be real severe. We could see some strong winds, maybe even a little bit of damage out of the winds, possibly even some small hail, but nothing that's going to be at the severe level. It doesn't look like to me. At least not this far south. We're keeping our fingers crossed, though. That could change before the night's over with. Cloudy skies across the area, but we finally see the end of the fog and the, the drizzly mist for the time being. A live look downtown Temple from the Standard Insurance Sky Live weather camera. Forecast for reduced visibility is pretty good back across I-45. We could see fog back that way, and as we go through the early morning hours, reduced visibilities because of a line of very heavy rain coming in. That will reduce visibilities, and that's going to occur right during the morning commute. So be mindful of that tomorrow morning. Allow yourself a little extra travel time. Now the rain is just getting into Midland, Odessa, stretching on up towards Lubbock, uh, still lingering back through much of eastern New Mexico tonight, and it stretches all the way down to the Big Bend National Park right now. We've got a tornado watch in effect that includes San Angelo and Abilene back up towards Wichita Falls, not quite that far north, but getting up to that direction anyway. Some light shower activity in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. For us right now, we're looking at the rain peaking about 7 to 8 o'clock or so in the morning, tapering off by 10, and by noon, it's out of here. All the rain is over with, but we could see some very heavy downpours of rain, so be mindful of that. Cloudy skies tonight. Look for patches of mist and drizzle before the front gets here. 57 are overnight low. Pre-dawn thunderstorms making their way into the area across our western counties and getting to the I-35 corridor during morning commute, so be mindful of that. Morning storms, 90% chances you're going to get hit with that. 77 the afternoon high. I think by lunchtime, you're going to be looking at clearing skies across the area. Not so this day. Overcast skies and fog through much of the day. We made it to 74 in Mahaya, thanks to April Perry Lady at the Confederate Reunion Grounds in Copper's Cove. Michael Parsons saw 75 degrees as the high. Belton Lake, Joseph Anthony reporting 76 degrees. Our weather watchers reporting in today. No pollen count because of the moisture on the slides rained out this afternoon, but we were seeing large, high amounts of tree pollen in the county yesterday. I don't really imagine that's changed a whole lot. Here's your Channel 6 seven day forecast for your weekends. Always a view St. Patrick's Day weekend coming up. Lots of green to be worn. 90% chance of storms tomorrow morning. The afternoon clears out. Southwest winds rather gusty, 10 to 20 miles an hour with gusts to better than 25 during the afternoon hours. I think we can see 40 mile an hour wind gusts very likely in these storms coming through in the morning. Thursday looks nice, but look how the temperatures begin to cool off. Down in the 30s, Friday, Saturday morning, afternoon struggling to get up into the 50s this last weekend <laughs> of wintertime. Spring will begin a week away. It's Wednesday morning when... Uh, we experience the vernal equinox, and it looks like once we get through the storms of the morning, we're going to be looking at smooth sailing for several days. Like to weekend. hear that. Yeah. Oh, winter's not going away without a fight. Not, not this time around, no.